You better believe I was working extra late, hoping to put myself on the Silver Fox's radar. To impress him, I knew I had to familiarize myself with his latest triumph, State versus Lopez. Though I didn't get through the entire case file that evening, I was intrigued to know how Brent Renard was able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant was guilty when the murder weapon was reported as being in two different locations at the same time. Did anyone not pick up on that? You dropped your cell phone. Oh my god. I didn't goodness. mean to startle you. I'm sorry, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I should have called out. I'm Brent. Brent Renard. I know who you are. You know, you shouldn't be walking alone at night to your car. We've had incidences of vengeful criminals. I heard. It's just that I work long hours, and by the time I'm done, there's no one around to escort me to my car. I work late, too. You can always call on me. May I? Thank you. I'm Sophia. Sophia Stella. I know. Nice to finally meet you. I see you burn the midnight oil a lot. Reminds me of when I first started out here. Yeah, well, my caseload keeps getting bigger and bigger. Nothing exciting, though, the usual cases. But hey, congratulations on your latest win. Thanks. I hear you never lose a case. That's very impressive. I just got yelled at by the judge for pleading down too many of my traffic and DWI cases. I've been at this for a while now. It takes time. But hey, if you're interested, I've got a couple of cases I could use your help with. Certainly more exciting than the ones you're handling now. Really? Yeah, I'd love to help. Great. Have you got time to talk about them now? Ah, oh. <laughs> sorry. It's Friday night. You're probably rushing off to a date. No. Actually, I don't have any plans. <laughs> I see you're not wearing a ring. Not married. Boyfriend? No. I find it hard to believe you've not been taken off the market yet. The market? <laughs> you sound like my mother. They're like the damn rotten vegetables at the local stand. You know, the kind that get significantly reduced past their prime. Why don't you go and hope somewhere? I'll pretend like I don't know about it. Oh. Don't mean to sound like your mother, but I certainly wouldn't equate you to a rotten vegetable. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just being silly. You're a very attractive woman. Thank you. By the way, when do you anticipate trial beginning on the assault matter? Not sure yet. The defense attorney is being a, somewhat of a prick. Waiter. I ordered the bottle of Chateau Milan, and you brought me the house wine. Sir, the, the Pomerolo is it, it's not a house wine. It's a $300 bottle. Well, it should be the house wine. I ordered the more expensive bottle. Yes, sir. Right away. Oh, no, you don't need to get a more expensive bottle for us. I insist. We're celebrating my win and your ascension through the ranks of our prestigious legal system. <laughs> Stop by the office Monday morning and I'll give you those files. Thanks, Brent. I really appreciate it. Are you going to be all right driving home alone? Yeah, I'm fine. You shouldn't be driving. You're liable to get a DWI. I'm fine, really. I only had a glass. Thanks again for dinner. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Dismissed Phil. He had to leave. He had a weekend plan with his boys. So he's... I'm so sorry. Can I have a water, please? Do you want to see a water menu? Uh, no. <laughs> Tap is fine. <laughs> Don't tell me you were at work this time. No. I went to dinner with Brent Renard. What? Start talking. You know how I'm always being clumsy and uh -huh. things. Yeah, go on. Well, 
I dropped my cell phone on the way to the parking lot. Brent followed me and gave it to me. We started talking. We ended up having dinner. And guess what? He wants me to help him on a couple of cases. Stop you bitch, that's not fair. Wait, did you sleep with him? What? No! Why does everything involve sex with you? Because the world, with the exception of your prudish ass, revolves around you. Well, he did seem interested. Hmm. But I brushed it off and came over here to be with you. Oh, so you give up sex to be with me? Mm -hmm. How nice. You realize, of course, I never would do the same thing for you. Especially if it revolves around a man who looks like a friend. Oh, that's what you say. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I need your opinion on something. Oh, yes. I definitely think you should let him go down with me. <laughs> All right, tell me what. Before running into Brent in the parking lot, I was looking into his case, you know, the State versus Lopez matter. Mm. Something didn't add up. Oh, here we go. Kano and Sophia are in duty. I'm serious. Yeah. Something's not right. I mean, how could evidence be in two places at the same time? I found two contradicting police reports in the files. One of the police reports placed the murder weapon in the defendant's home, and the other one placed it near the murder scene. How could something this crucial be chucked off? There was no mention of these contradicting police reports in any of the pleadings or at trial. Unless the defendant was being framed with Brent's help. Oh, what interesting theory, Sherlock. Look, Brent's on the short list to be appointed our next district attorney. I mean, why would he fuck that up by tampering with evidence? I don't know. But an easy victory in this case just doesn't make any sense. And besides, there's something untrustworthy about Brent. <laughs> so, you didn't sleep with him. How would you know that? Do you know he ordered a bottle of wine that costs more than what we make in a month? Mm. How do you do that on an ADA salary? Chief ADA. And who knows? Maybe he's getting some kickbacks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Watson. It's quite feasible that he is being compensated for covering up for someone else. So, don't jump to conclusions. Can I get a napkin, please, and a pen? Um, actually, can I get a piece of paper, a white piece of paper? Thank you. Here's the address to one of the locations where the murder weapon was found. Okay. Let's go check it out. Sophia, it's Friday night. <laughs> and he's looking at me. He could be looking at me. <laughs> well, come on, let's go. I want to go to check this out. Sophia. Check, please. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. How much longer are you going to be in there? I hope you didn't fall into the toilet. OK, I'm ready. I figured I needed to disguise myself before heading to the location. Why? Is it too much? What's the JW stand for? Jane Wyman? I'm Justice Woman. Yeah, I mean, it works. But now we have to stop by my place because I can't leave myself exposed. Sure. Is that a zipper on your crack? Really? Yes. Don't you think it's a bit much?
let's go. Let's get him, cop boy. It's Roberta, you bitch. Is your money? I trust you. Well, we gave the sons of bitches a victory, huh? DA is happy. Cops are happy. The whole fucking town is happy. <laughs> Couldn't happen any better. Got a lackey in jail, the rest is history. But I gave them everything they wanted. Look, don't sweat it. Frame the little brown illegal. It's not like he's not breaking the law. He broke it the minute he came into this country to pick fruit or wipe my ass. <laughs> a day in jail will be like Club Med for the little pepper picker. <laughs> My father said I can trust you to pull it off, and you did. Thank you. I hope I've earned your trust. You have. I'll see to it that my father comes through for you. I appreciate it. As the next DA, I hope to do more for you and your father. I told you he was up to no good. Shh. Your ass feels good. Shh. Are you wearing padded undies? It's the only way I could fill out this suit back there. <gasps> Rufus, go check it out.